When evaluating investment centers, one of the measures that can be used is return on investment. Mm -hmm. And return on investment is basically the operating income divided by the assets invested. But it can also be broken down into two different measures. The first measure is the profit margin. And the profit margin really hones in on how well is a manager managing their income statement, revenues minus expenses. And the profit margin will give you a percentage, and it's operating income divided by sales. It tells you how many cents of every sales dollar turns out as profit. If I also want to look at asset turnover, which is basically looking at the balance sheet, in other words, how well is the manager utilizing their resources to generate sales, I can look at asset turnover, which is sales divided by assets invested. And you'll remember that assets invested is beginning of the year assets plus end of the year assets divided by two. So what we have here now is we've refined our return on investment measure into a look at how well are they doing on the income statement and how well are they leveraging those assets to make a difference from their balance sheet. So I like to break down ROI into profit margin and asset turnover because it will allow me to refine my analysis of that manager's performance better. So let's take a look at 2000X7, again looking at problem four for information. And the operating income in 2000X7 was $43,500. And where did I find that? The income statement. The sales that year were $160,000. So if I find the profit margin, I'll find uh, 160,000 into 43,500 is a 27.19%. Uh, so about 27 cents of every sales dollar is profit. That looks pretty good. Uh, well, I really can't make a judgment on that unless I can compare it and contrast it to something, right? Like, what were you expecting? What do your competitors do? And so on. So it looks good, but I don't really know until I have some way to compare it. Let's look at asset turnover. Asset turnover for this company, sales in 2000X7 was 160,000. The average assets invested were, let's see, I've got to take beginning plus ending, divide by two. Beginning of the year, Assets were 157,900. End of the year, they were 163,900. So I'm going to take those, add them together, and divide by two, get average assets. Average assets into sales means that I had an asset turnover of 0.99, or my asset refresh rate was about once a year. So the uh, this particular manager was not renewing their assets uh, very quickly, only once a year. So if I take 27.19 times 0.99, I will get my ROI again of 27.04%. Uh, Is that just like what it was before? Yes. Pretty close. Probably because of rounding. Now, if you wanted a check figure for 2000 X8, you would find that your profit margin for 2000X8 is 29.17% and that your asset turnover in 2000X8 is 1.07 times a year so that you will come back again to your ROI in 2000X8 of 31.08%. So go forth. Do problem P4, uh, profit margin and asset turnover.